Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It's me, Tony. Welcome back to the channel. We got some channel tarot card messages for you guys today. We're gonna get into your love messages and see what's currently surrounding you in regards to love and romance. What's headed towards you? What you need to know? And um, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. Let's see what your message is. I already see the Ace of Wands. All right. So for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What do we have today, Spirit, for the lovers? For the fire signs, what do you need the fire signs to know today? In regards to love, romance, relationships. All right, grinding a reading for you today, air signs. We have we got the eight of embers, incoming communication. This could be travel as well to be um there's a lot of things this could actually be but i'm gonna go with travel at this time communication coming towards you this could be like on social media or something like that this could very well be sex as well exercising maybe this could be cooking like brewing something so some things being brewed here the hangman the hangman state of mind being stuck this could also be sleep as well could be some form of enlightenment, get a different, getting a different perspective on the situation here. You could be dealing with a Pisces. So this could have something to do with music and dance. You could be dealing with a healer as well. Nine of storms, nervousness, anxiety, sleeplessness, mental toxicity here. So this could be someone going through some sort of a spiritual awakening or dark night of the soul. Ace of storms. Um, clarity even. This could be someone, um, they're trying to obtain clarity here in this situation. This could be someone that's journaling or writing down their thoughts. It could very well be a dream journal. It could be dealing with a content creator. Queen of swords would be a judge, a counselor, a therapist. All right. For the air sign. So that is... Wait, that's the Ace of Storms. Sorry. So we have the truth coming in here. Yeah, someone's trying to get um, accurate knowledge is what I'm getting. Yeah, they need the truth to come out of this hangman uh, state. But yeah, this could be dreams here. The Knight of Gems for the air signs. As above, so below is what I'm getting. Yeah, you're going to keep thinking about something until you get the actual proof. Some people are like that. They don't have faith. They actually have to see something in a material world or see proof of it in order to believe it here. This could be like a woman not believing a man loves her unless he gives her a wedding ring or in toxic situations. Not believing that a man loves her unless they get into like toxic fights every day. Which my neighbors are going through. It's like, okay, I'm so sick of seeing the same thing over and over and over. Like, come on now. Marriage even here with the Knight of Gems. Jewelry, the world card, Sagittarian energy, travel, online communication, wide web. Mm. So the hanged one and the world card. This could be astral traveling, right? Uh, Akashic records as well. Here we have with the Ace of Storms. That's the truth. Getting a universal truth. Up all night, nine of storms. This could be some form of a meditation. The hang one, the world card, enlightenment, ace of storms. For some additional messages before we close out the reading, under the eight of embers, we have the five of gems. So yeah, physical displacement, right? So again, this could be sleeping while actual traveling or um, dreams, right? Dream sleep. It reminds me of uh, Assassin's Creed, right? He had the DNA. Um, he was able to use his DNA to travel back to the time of his ancestors. Whoever the main character was, Desmond or whatever his name was. He even got to see the creation of the world or something like that. Adam's, Adam's apple or something like that. Which was another dream. So if you've watched uh, the Twin Flame reading for today or if you have not watched it yet, I talked about how I had a dream last night about my karmic. <laughs> I had another dream about this same karmic last year 
us frolicking in the damn uh, sky jungle, <laughs> like with the um, with Adam's apple or something like that. Big black panthers. Sounds so weird. <laughs> All right, additional messages for air sign Libra. What is your current romantic energy? What's surrounding you? What does spirit want you, need, want you to know? Okay, five of gems. Under that is the hang one again. Yeah, someone's astral traveling a lot. Or at least learning to astral travel here. Now that can be again surfing the internet, increasing one's knowledge and perception. Like most people only know about the internet. A lot of people don't know about the deep web or they call it the dark web, right? There's certain parts of the library people stay away from. <laughs> like they're not, they're not using the complete library, right? Which could be like an Akashic Records library. They, they don't use, they go to their favorite section in the library and they never expand their knowledge with other sections of the library. So this, again, this could be someone expanding their knowledge Gaining some sort of an enlightenment, right? Furthering their intuition or furthering their occult knowledge. King of Embers, yep, a strategist here. Brewing something is what I was getting in the um, at the beginning of the reading. So this could be a naturalist, right? A physical entertainer, an actor, um, an athlete even. We could be getting a cook or a chef. A model. Yeah, some sort of a leader here. All right, King of Embers still. Five off the top. Judgment, making a judgment call. This could be someone making a decision to do better physically, right? Like some sort of a weight loss program, gym regimen, or they could be speaking to people like a TED talk in regards to um, you know, uh, positive eating habits or how to keep your body healthy. The page of gems, All right? This could also be a speech in regards to getting your monies right, taking small steps in order to make uh, big changes, right? Saving $5 a day. This could also be, okay, we have the full card showing up. So an adventure here. Childlike state of mind of having strong faith. So the fool and judgment showing up here. This could be um, being guided by um, spirit or being guided by your ancestors. Knight of Embers, yeah, some sort of a journey someone's going on here. This could be like a pilgrimage, some sort of a hike. This could be like uh, mountain climbing or something like that. Yeah, the five of Embers, yeah, this is a change. So this person, he had the five of gems showing up. So physical displacement, yeah, this person's tired of sitting around possibly here with the air signs or this could possibly be you going on some sort of a spiritual journey gaining some form of enlightenment right they say um that you do have to get out and adventure the world right this could even be like rites of passage leaving behind what you're used to to um experience something new right people say they want new things but you have to try new things in order to get a new result right the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same things over and over and over and over right some sort of a spiritual lesson or value someone's learning right now um, a lot of fiery energy um, again this person could be Pisces Piscean right? a healer or something like that this could be a lot of sex surrounding this person as well like Kundalini sex or something like that um, anything else here for fire sign spirit I'm sorry air sign spirit yeah you could be dealing with a fire sign or again this is high spirituality we get one more message at the bottom of the deck actually let's do a break deck message so we got the seven of storms and we got the nine of bubbles wish fulfillment so this person this could possibly be um like something private here seven of swords that doesn't feel toxic or negative although it could be in, in different situations and different stories so this could be someone that is um like going on some sort of a private journey, private adventure here to further their knowledge, further their spirituality. Mm. 
and seeking wish fulfillment, right? They're seeking answers that they don't, uh, they're seeking the answers to questions that they don't have the answers to. So this is reaching out to the universe again, Akashic Records or something like that. This could be like looking up one's DNA and ancestry. This could even be traveling to one's uh, DNA and ancestral uh, beginnings, right? Black people going over to Africa, going to Egypt, right? That sort of thing. But yeah, that is what I have for you here today, Air Signs. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.